This is going to be quick, it looks like. Means that Molotov could actually be used for C-Connector instead. They're going to be going right down there. Sip setting himself up for a bit of a flashbang. There's the grenade coming in. Sip gets a kill and a good follow-up. Not many headshots, just spamming away that USP, but good for two kills. And now, looking for a third. Simple will shut him down, but that's long range. The P250 down on the ground. And the, the, the aggression, the kills from Zipniks forced Simple to get aggressive and try and find more kills. That brought him out into the open for the elimination, and that's the bomb on the floor. This pistol round is surely going to go the way of Astralis. No plant, no second round buy, so it's uh, just Glocks and the Deagle on Simple. Oh, that was a cute attempt. That was the, uh, the newcomer. I appreciate that. Trying to make a name for yourself. Why not? The Zeus Master. No one's taken that mantle quite yet. Shamefully so. I mean... Maybe Tarek. Maybe Tarek. Well, there are a couple of players out there that uh, that will show something every once in a while. Simple crouching him with the D. Oh, he lands a follow-up headshot taking down Magis. Not great. Yeah, the thing that makes this very rough is the armor that they're lacking, but somehow that doesn't even matter. The MP9 comes in. They swap that out for a... Uh, for an M4 now, and Electronic, he's got the health for it. It's a very awkward round indeed. But again, just remember that armor could... Oh! Forget about the armor! Sip goes down, simple with another kill. Three of them, all headshots with the Deagle. That is why we just keep mentioning his name time and time again. There are a few of them already. Device back, he can't really find much, can he? I'd be surprised if they commit to this, considering Electronic's already all the way out. Ivy, this is very dangerous. A perfect stat call so far, and yeah, he picks one off, but Electronic has control. They're gonna back away, and he's gonna cut off the rotations, Electronic. All they have to worry about is Dupree on top of the train. No one else can get through Z. Electronic's got one from behind. A great headshot from Glaive, but still, control completely in the favor of Na'Vi. Yeah, they just need to not get interrupted on this bomb plant. There's only 10 seconds left, so it can't really stop from being planted, although it's going to be a disaster. And they will get it through, and the cleanup now should be fairly easy. I like this from Glaive, though. I like the investment of armor. He's going to get boosted up as well. There's the aggression, as you mentioned, with the MAC-10. Not, not crazy, not rushing all the way down towards Ivy, but he's got a solid position. It's Megas who's going to be the first player in trouble because of Simple. Oh, now he's making a little bit more noise. Megas, he's got a USP. He's just hoping that someone's going to come out of him out. Not even happening. Simple. That's a long range and a quick triple with the MAC-10. So all of the danger pretty much gone. It's nine kills on Simple, five kills on Electronic. Everyone else on Na'Vi still at zero. It's a two-man affair for Na'Vi at this point. So let's see how this goes. Fast pace, utility being thrown out on the fly. Perfecto. Going to be the first one up. Jumps over the spam. Dupree's in some trouble, but he doesn't know it yet. Oh, they have a lot of yard control. The bomb is still back there, so they're just trying to clear the path. Two people blindly shooting through, and Simple will go down. That was Magus picking that one up. I'm not sure what he could actually see. Glaive sneaking through, but two on the other side, but he's alone right here. He needs some backup or someone to throw a grenade for him, or he might get spammed down eventually. Magus on the one side. That's smoke. Ooh, Device will take a kill, but he's waiting for it. That actually wasn't smoke at all, so he can still see. Bombs down so far back as well. I think these ops are going to start chewing up Navi. Perfecto, no idea. Still, easy shot for Magisk. And now he can just lie and wait. Force Perfecto to commit and another kill. Those ops into the rotation. It's a classic tactic to try and take the weapons away to defeat this defense. The question is, can they get there? Will they lose too many players? Zip's got a double before being burned alive, but now the op on device is in play. Flamey is hiding inside of the smoke. If he comes through and device is scoped up, he could get the kill immediately. There we go. Headshot taking him down, but Simple's dropped. And that leaves Flamey alone. A missed opportunity for Magus. That could have been the end of the round. And now Dupree with a flank coming in. Flamey, he doesn't really know it yet, but you could tell he's kind of suspecting it. And Dupree, if he walks down the ramp, he might be able to see the bomb beforehand if it isn't already called out. So, I don't know, there's still 30 seconds. All of the pressure right now on Flamey, and he's slow playing it. He might not have that luxury. A long-range fight, and he gets dinked at least down to 71. Yeah, but that's not that much damage for a dink, and that actually might lure Dupree into an awkward play. Might think he's very, very low, but the time is of the essence for Flamey. Yeah, he's walking back into it. Dupree's got such a weird angle, and he'll win the fight. Oh, he definitely did. 
Fair bit of damage device though. That's a way to do it over at Ivy. Two kills with the AWP to begin with. And now they definitely should fall back, Astralis. No point in giving them more fights when you've already done this. Well, in fact, Device is just doubling down on the aggression and Boomit showing up. Again, range with the CC. He's got no chance at all. He's going to go down and it's being called out. There's another guy in main. Yeah, this is kind of the opposite of what Na'Vi needed. Even if they even if they end up losing this round from, you know, from just from the early on, they want the same amount of damage as they did in the previous round. Yeah, you want some kills. You want to keep that money low and unfortunately it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Flammy and Perfecto at this point, you're just thinking, you're not thinking for the win. You're thinking, let's eliminate one player and see what else we can get from that. But they are blocked out of everything. Device has them cut off from Ivy. They don't have the tools to go battle an AWP at that range. Deep smoke in towards T connector means they just have to wait it out. This is brutal. Yeah, it does feel like they've been checkmated a little bit in this position. They could wait around and hope for a mistake, but... The regular version of Astralis probably won't give you many. The one that we saw yesterday was, you know, made you think maybe, but right now they're, they're doing what they should be doing. 20 seconds on the clock. It's going to be a save call for Navi. Electronic has 1,200, so likely a, a half buy on some of these other three players. Electronic will have something to work with, but these two guys are going to be stuck on what they've got in hand at the moment. Only $50 in the bank for both of them. And for Astralis, not enough cash for the hunt. So this one, uh, this round kind of fizzles away slowly. Four to three lead for Astralis. And we'll see how much Navi wants to commit on the other three players. Yeah, there's no point in, I mean, if they had more money, Astralis, sure they, surely they go look for the fight in the last 10 seconds, but I agree this time, not worth it, really. 142 ADR on simple. Half of the cause, isn't it? Yeah, pretty blistering start for him. Nice shots from Device as well, even the follow-up wide swing. I like this play. That's just asserting some dominance. Get out towards Ivy, even though it's not necessarily the smart fundamental play. So much information, a calculated risk that nets them everything. Oh, grenade around the corner. That's going to land on top of at least some of them, yep. That's that's a solid amount of damage in Glaive. He's got Magus behind him, could throw a grenade. Oh, oh no! Simple now, styling on Dupree. I mean, that's what Perfecto tried to do. Maybe they, they looked at some of the demos and said, this is, this is possible for us to get to this position. Electronic decides not to wait out the smoke. That's just clearing a second later. Focus on that ramp. Yeah, he's in a really strong position. And you see immediate headshot. The grenade out just buying time. 40 seconds on the clock. And Magus can device showing up. Long range with that double orb. And no chance to do anything here. Simple. He's gonna go down. If they could build some more and get up to, you know, six or something, that's where you start to feel a bit more confident, I would say. Ooh, close up with the M4. Perfecto's got a deagle headshot, but Glaives got three kills of his own. And it's just Zipnix looking towards Ivy. These last two players about to turn the corner. And that's an easy spray down for him. Just kind of in the middle of nowhere out there. But, ooh, it's Magus instead. Electronic to find the opening kill. That's a strong way to get started. Still 50 seconds on the clock. A little bit low on health. And the spam through. Oh, Glaive will catch it. That's some very fortunate timing. But now they have to go. They know they've got to hit it right now before more backup shows up. Under 40 seconds as they try and make their way through. And Dupree just checking. Could it be a bit of confirmation from Sip? Glaive is ready for it. And Perfecto, not a chance there. 30 seconds on the clock. And they're kind of spread out and locked down here now. V. They need to break into this bomb site. And Flamey will get them one. But Dupree, now he's got at least one locked in. And Boomich has got the bomb all the way at the back of the bomb site. 20 seconds on the clock. They need to move right now. And Symbol might have given them the opening that they need. Device he wants to fall back and play for it instead. Oh, they don't actually go for the bomb plant. And that might be a problem. Dupree counting the seconds here. Not trying to stop the bomb. I thought maybe he would have instead. Instead, it's oh. Device sneaking in with the AWP. What a play! And leg shot comes through from Simple. He needed that kill immediately. He knows Dupree's already out around the corner. Simple in a one versus two, and he's not going to get the chance. After plants are not going to be fun with this amount. That's that's a real check on Device, and that's Electronic alone. Still oh. going for the B bomb side though. They're not slowing it down. Sip is falling back, but Glaive is still in here, and they're not checking it. That's a one. They line up for him, and a beautiful triple kill. They thought they had it all figured out once. They saw Sip falling back down there. I think they thought, all right, that's it. We've, we've done it with Electronic. Still a bit of a flank coming in. He can bring it right back. They have no idea he's here. There's the first kill. Simple, he's looking for the flank at the moment, but Electronic cannot convert. Simple has the intel. He knows exactly where Glaive is, but great movement from Glaive to stay alive. He's forcing Simple to be the aggressor, trying to find this kill before the flank comes in, because Magus is creeping behind him, and he can't even handle the first. 
that bomb site. Three players all looking in the same direction. Yeah. Not a single one covering the other. And that's what allows Glaive to get three kills and eventually the ace. Sloppy play so far on the attack for Navi. And this round is not looking much better. Electronic, he's got that Krieg. He's losing teammates. He doesn't really want to take a charge through the smoke here. Vegas got one side, really well defended A-bomb side. They've got four people out here, and there's just, there's really no way to get through, is there? Smoke is fading ever so slightly, and he's a bit quicker inside of the smoke, which is a common, common occurrence now. Listen, Electronic's having some success. Probably the most success Navi has had is out towards Ivy. And it's usually been allowing Electronic to work on his own, so they have to find... Looks like they want to try and double drop Dupree. He's pretty close range. That actually could be a little bit scary. They land right on top, and he does a lot in return, but not enough for a kill, so it's an opening. They have to convert at this point. Round number 13, you need to start getting more rounds on the board. You need to win this five on four. Three players still defending outside because the op on device is pushed towards upper ramp. They have all the information of what's coming. Magus, a tough angle, and he's got the first. Boomich on the board as well, but what a flick! And Glaive still adding on as well. Time for Electronic to get involved. Okay, but how does he do that? Glaive is right here waiting for him, and he's still going to win the fight. A huge double coming in, dropping Magus, and then the turnaround, and now Device. Can he find a clean angle into that site? If he can and pick off one, that's huge. Simple is kind of looking for him with the Krieg, so walking around this corner could be very scary. He's up on the train, and Device is slowly edging his way in. Simple's got the bomb, so he, he has to cross Device's point of view, at least if he sticks around here. 25 seconds, and if the bomb drops in the middle, then Device has got a really good chance. Can he get the flick? Not quite. That's a tall order to ask. 18 seconds, and the bomb will be going down electronic hiding at a very strange off angle. And now Device can't even really unscope, or he'll give the whole round away here. So he's got to stay scope looking in, or they'll definitely hear it. Very tough indeed. He's trying to check that corner. He's not quite right. He's got the right idea, but doesn't want to commit to it, and with the deagle out. And Sip playing close again. He's been really good in this B-bomb zone. I have to imagine this is going to be a fake towards inside, a drop down the ladder, because Perfecto and Boomich still yeah. ready to pounce. Actually, they're going to set Flamey, and they're going to see if he can just find one kill. He's not too committed. Now he's fully committed, and he gets nothing. Three versus five, but the rotation is in. Astralis got lured pretty far away, which gave space to Boomich. He's the next one to make a play. Perfecto, shoulder peeking, not expecting to pre, but he recovers well. And all of a sudden, the outer bomb site is cracked open. That's a very important kill for Magus right now. 18 seconds, and they're going to go straight for the bomb. Oh, the grenade! He was shot up. They were shooting under the actual carriage, so Simple had to move out of the way. And once he did, the grenade caught him eight seconds, and Boomich, what could you even do at this point in time? He's looking for the bomb. He's finally picked it up, and he's out of time. There's nothing to do. Ten rounds for Astralis here. Train. Utility on Electronic, there's no kits on the CT side. Boomich gonna go for the fight, he's got one, can't transfer over. Still three players at range out at this bomb site. I thought he would have got nothing from that fight. It looked like he was, oh, I, that's really dirty Electronic. He must have just been able to see an outline around that. Perfecto falling back and trying to play it safe, and he should as well. There's no point in going down right now. They've got the four versus three glaive though is actually sneaking in on this side. Now, if there's enough of a distraction, if he could find a kill, that would help out Astralis so much, and they're kind of banking on it. Oh, there it is, the headshot from the Glock to take it out, and suddenly they could try and pinch this bomb side a little bit. Well, this, this is scary. Well, they could also try and pitch towards inner if Glaive wants to make his way. It looked like he wanted, he had the idea. Perfecto taking a shot, he just spots the one inside. New angle, out in the open is Dupree, and he still wins the fight straight up. Zip waiting in ladder room, that's the bomb spotted as well. He needs to back away and join up with Dupree towards the B site. And Dupree is just holding on like a champ, like the champion that he is. And Dupree buying so much time, and actually they've just gone right back outside. Flamey has no <laughs> chance, he's been juked. Too much, too long. Perfecto and simple inside of the bomb site. Looks like it's going to be a very, very quick hit here from Charlotte. No delay at all. They just go straight for it, running past the Molotov and running down Perfecto. And simple, well, he got the shot off, but Glaive was there to trade it from the high ground. And that's a very decisive hit for Astralis. It's not quite done yet. An important kill there for Electronic, but the bomb is going to be planted right away. And now it's a three on three. It's a nice Molotov to force Sipnix off the bomb spot, but there's no one there to punish it. 
Pumich has been spotted. That's a big kill on the flank, but Zip is going to come close the gap, and he's got it. He's all alone. One versus two. He's got no Molotov, and he might just have to commit down this lower ramp, and that would be exactly what Navi wanted. If they don't have any grenades either, though, so they're going to be really careful. Immediate kill. Electronic, not as careful as you'd like. And now the problem is that flashbang could really set it up. Flamey, how does he do this? He picked up an AWB and it takes him down. That's a critical kill. The rest of the team to play like Electronic and Simple are. That's not even the requirement. Dupree looking for an opening, but it'll be Device instead. Look how much free space, free real estate they're getting though. Navi never Ooh. had this much comfort pushing down these train lanes. They have no eyes on this at the moment. Flamey's getting into position, he knows where one is. That has to be a kill. That one definitely is. Molotov's gonna rain in, trying to force him out, but they won't spread. The fire will not damage him and force him into the open. And Simple is still waiting for his chance. Oh, and Flamey, I actually like that idea. He was trying to see if he could maybe get one back on them. Spotted out with the AWP up there. Device, he knows, and he wants to go for the fight. He's ready for it. Nearly getting that, but perfect. And they line up for seven. Even more relevant for Dunkers. <laughs> <laughs> Device, listen, they were wrecking us earlier on the desk. I feel like... I feel like I'm allowed. Don't just the electronic is right on the other side. He's counting the seconds. He just wants that smoke to fade so he can get a kill. He's been doing this all game. He's become a bit of a champion hiding inside of that smoke, and it's really working out for him. But on the other side, Perfecto and Flamey have to stay alive. Getting these first two kills from Electronic is amazing, but if this B Dev doesn't hold, it doesn't really matter. There's Perfecto going down, and now the question is Flamey. Is he gonna be brave enough to flank around? He's looking for the kill, but up on the high ground, Sip is right up there, and he'll take him down and is ready for more of a fight. A two on three now, and a last shot for Navi to continue on train. No kit as well. This is going to have to be quick. There's a real chance here, especially with Device, that AWP perching towards Long. He's covering his teammate perfectly. Zip and Device can do so much work. That's the first. And now it's Device's turn. Oh, and he just looked away. But he had the opportunity. He saw it out. Now, Blumich is coming in from the other side. This is very rough. There are no grenades. No time. Yeah, they might be out of time already. Sip goes down. But again, it might not even matter. He's straight on the Ooh. bomb. But I don't know. This is going to be almost impossible, isn't it? You hear it already ticking away. One defuse kit, and they would have had another round, but it might be too late. And indeed, it is 16 rounds for Astralis as they take down Navi on train. And we're live in the game, and they have got a lot of smokes on that T side. Blowing up the door, throwing in a flashbang and a smoke to get down. And they've got two people, and Glaive with a headshot. That is such a huge amount of success. Now, Simple did flank around to take down Glaive. That's not bad, but popping open the door, and Dupree will take the fight. Perfecto there, but the bomb, oh, they actually come off it. I think he almost wanted to do it immediately, Sip, but he waits. He did, but he was the only one in the bomb site, and that's a great follow-up kill from Simple. But Device is lying in wait, and he Simple's got another one. A third player coming to challenge, and Simple's ready for that as well. See if the MP9s could get some action. So far, it's the rifles, so slightly less of a kill reward on those. But I think right now, they just want to establish a good lead and just make sure that they can uh, feel a bit more confident than they than they really did on train. It's been spotted, so Glaive will eventually get hunted. Flamey's gonna have a task. He'll have to drop down if he has contact. He's got no support coming, so that's a tough fight. Big win for Electronic. And there goes Flamey to the lower bomb site. Well, there's the pressure put on. Simple rotating in. That's one of the orgs gone, or the, the org that they had. And this is a big uh, problem now. 50 seconds on the clock and Flamey in a position. But again, that medium range for the MP9 is not exactly great. They'll get the one and it actually turns around. What a great job from Flamey. That could have been nothing at all. Instead, it's a two on two. And plenty of health there on the on the Estrella side, which is a bit of an issue. We nearly caught that Dupree now. Is the timing going to be against him? He's kind of looking the wrong way and Perfecto will take him down. That is some unfortunate timing. And Magus now in a one versus two. He knows where both of them are, though. They at least have the information to call that out. So Mega's going to get aggressive towards the window. He's going to peek. He's going to find that kill. The pounce needs to be right now. And Perfecto not expecting Megas to be posted up. How do you really defend against that with just the CZ? Aggression in towards lobby. They found one. They can salvage that weapon. And well, now it's very interesting, not just because of the advantage, but the time that's oh, left. Flamey. 28 seconds. You're right. He's still hiding in that corner with the Deagle. They do check for it, but an instant headshot to take one down. They'll get it, but only 20 seconds on the clock. They can't really afford to be slowed down now. That's a head Headstop peak from play. That's that's so well uh, done. They spotted him on the jump. Perfecto had no idea he was spotted. I don't think he would have held that angle, but the door is open. Boomich has got to be careful behind him. It's all down to timing. They know where he is as well. And now he got that with the jump. Glaive's going to try and plant this bomb. There's no time. They just need to survive, and Boomich has got that as well. Havoc, this defense has no idea where the hit's going to come in. Flamey's going to be tested. That's the bomb down. He's going to try and get away, and he's just barely going to do it around the corner, but Glaive's still lurking. 
He's thinking about it. Electronics should have every chance to win this fight. He's read that so well. And Flamey standing tall with the M4. Make us down to 9 health and under 30 seconds. Yeah, they are playing this really well right now, Navi. In spite of Glaive, actually, I don't know, playing better than you would have expected out on the yard. He's going to be going down no charge. Unfortunately, they have pistols, so it's hard to celebrate too much. They're going to try and see if they can beat that Molotov and... A quick trade. Electronic has to just be like, what the hell is he thinking? Glaive going to keep moving forward. SMG is going to be there to greet him, but Flamey doesn't want to commit, even though he has a teammate with him. This is awkward. I don't think Navi has a single read of where Astralis is. They're spread all across the map. We'll see what Electronic can deliver. This kind of a play is all about what you provide your team. There's the shadow, but Glaive ducks right beneath the shot. Flash to set it up and simple. Not going to take the chance there, but now he's actually slightly exposed. He might want to try and get out of this position. I'm sure if he's realizing yet, Boomage going down and simple. He's going to get the kill, but Glaive is right there behind him. The punishment, that's... I don't know, the AR defense crumbling for Na'Vi. Still a 2 on 3 Chance to recover. But no one has moved downstairs just yet. They don't have the information, and this is going to be a plant. And actually, I mean, even in a two-on-three, might be a scenario. Flamey and Perfecto save the weapons, preserve the economy. Flamey's only got 600. Electronic down at 1,300. Yeah. Ends. And this time, it's going to be towards Flamey. They're going to test him again. He's standing tall on this map so far. And once again, he's got a first kill. Massive amounts of damage. And Simple's going to finish off Dupree. Even just the fact that he did damage to so many more players, that's really going to hurt them. They take ramp room, but Navi don't care about that for the minute. They still need the bomb plant, and with only three people alive, that's going to be very tricky. They have two players downstairs already, and Simple is rotating as well from Secret with the AWP. Oh, Electronic. Going to have a tough task, stepping in front of that smoke to check for information. Bomb does go down, but Magus now has to get in some kind of safety. Simple, there's the door open. Oh, and he can't find him quick enough. And an awkward angle now in towards the door. Boomich is in some trouble, and he doesn't know it yet. They still have some smokes and a Molotov here on the Navi side. They could do a lot to try and force them out. That actually does nothing. No one's hiding in there. So, so far, some of the grenades just missing a little bit. And Chance, but Magus will go down. And now it's Glaive. One versus three. He has a Molotov of his own. If they are not careful, could be a little bit of an issue there. He tries to throw. I think it went way too far. There should be no problems in the defuse. And that's going to be another round for Navi. Seven to two. Really... No panic at time to be out here alone. Yeah, that's that follow-up smoke towards door is just like, oh god, I have to still just wait until you're ready. Another 17 seconds. There's the flashbang, there's the clear, and that's exactly why it gets awkward. That's too long to just be sitting out there making no presence known. And now the rest of this push is really unimpressive because it's so signaled. Electronics already cleared the one side, and now they're just all stuck on top of each other. Nothing about this is actually what we want to see, except for Navi. Again, just the, the timing on the smoke and the fact that they clear the yard. An awkward round here. That would be a good way to get started. <laughs> His device. Flamey, he wasn't expecting that. Simple, over-rotating, really way too committed to that fight. A double opening for device, and that's a big problem. He's ready for more. If Electronic opens the door, he might go down, but actually he catches device at a really good time, and he'll follow it up with the bomb going down. Electronic, he's a hero right now for Navi. He wants more, and finally he'll be brought to an end. Boomage. That's a scary fight. The smoke, though, he almost has to do something or his teammates will be alone for a long time. This is tough. Perfecto going to come in for the flank, and but if, if Boomich can't get there, there's no point in Perfecto even moving in. Boomich going to head. He's going to evacuate that fight at ramp room, heading down the vents. It's a lot of time, though, and a lot of noise, and Astralis has this information. As you mentioned, money not great for the Navi side, and they're still going to go for it. Push. Flamey and Simple now over at the ramp, and there's Boomich pushing in, but instantly down, and Dupree, those are some beautiful kills. And look at Glaive, he's just ready to catch this rotation. Should be almost no way for Flamey or anyone else to read this. Oh, double flashbang. Simple's a bit blind. Oh, wait. 25 seconds. Oh, this is very awkward. Where do they want to go with this? They're actually, for some weird reason, Flamey and Simple are in pretty winnable positions. Now he's made his way up the ladder, and Simple, that should be the end of him. If, if Flamey was still around there when he'd caught Glaive, this would have been such an awkward round, but they managed to thread the needle somehow. That it around. They just keep everyone guessing. It's so hard. Simple wants to go back down there. Flamey getting checked. That's some heads up play with 20 seconds left. You don't want to leave anything to chance. And Boomich, just I think the tip of his boot showing, and that was going to be the end of him no matter what. Simple and perfecto.
not really much they can do. Well, that is always worth talking about. And looks like they might try and challenge Ooh. him. And that was at least a mistake from Glaze's point of view. He was ready for that one. I can't believe he caught that. That looked like Glaze was going to get around the corner, but just barely picks him off. But again, one player has slid past. And look at the hold from Zip. He's already out. Squeaky door. Perfecto has no idea just yet. He's so close. Electronic is going to save the day. And that takes the attention away from Perfecto in the site. He's there, but he hasn't had to do anything yet because of his teammates. Yeah, Symbol came in from the high ground, helping him out. He's just gonna make a left into the smoke, and that's a problem for Electronic. He's about to be in a lot of trouble here. He gets the one. I can't believe he's still alive. Play will open it up, but Electronic now with the Molotov out. He's buying so much time, and Boom is showing up. And Electronic, he goes down eventually, but he just bought so much time for his team. A Simple dropping the bomb. Hit! Now is the time for it. They're going quick out into the yard. A little bit of a staggered push, so they don't group up on top of each other. But Magus, a double headshot will give a chance here for Astralis to still bring it back. It's a three on three. A quick flank coming in. Glaive on the one side. Sip here on the other side. And Device is in Mini. They've got them pretty much triangled in. And can they find just one opening? If someone from Navi dies now, then I don't think the rest will be able to hold it. They need that opening fight right here. Even with the bomb down, this is very, very tricky. A chance. He saw that long range device. He definitely knew doing a little bit to try and see if he could do it but oh glaive going down that's a great headshot for perfecto sip will take another one still a 2-1-2 two -on -two, and it's still doable for navi they could maybe win it but sip running around onto the site and electronic will go down gets to it we all love that oh, oh good shot from glaive coming up in the stairs smoke to delay even longer and boomich knows exactly where zipnix is Now there is Magus sneaking up right where Glaive just came from. So yeah, he's sneaking a kill on Electronic. That's kind of cool because it's almost like Glaive was ready to sacrifice himself to just that situation. It's not easy at all. 30 seconds on the clock and yeah, just trying to make anything work. But they need they need a gift right now for Charlotte. They need someone to walk into to a, just a free kill. Oh, that's a big fight for Flamey. Simple's gonna get into the upper bomb site. They've caused enough of a distraction to open this up. Somehow Navi have gotten in this position without really taking a whole lot of fights. And that's a big find for Zip. Long range with the Mac 10, but the headshot did it. Flamey, HE up there. Zip. Oh, he's gonna explode! He actually got that. This could get very interesting. A double kill for Flamey. Both players now left with just one, uh, basically one bullet's worth of health left. No and he's got the idea. Flamey will get it. A triple for him. Crutching the round. Yeah, that much is true. Outside spotted, 35 seconds, and a strong kill for Dupree, falling back, buying more time, and time is there. You said what Navi just don't have right now. They're getting a couple of kills in return, but Sip is still down here waiting, and are they going to actually have time to go for it now? Perfecto's got the bomb, and they need to Classic make a move. Navi. It really is, isn't it? The one thing you don't want to see right now, they have to make this work. They're playing around with the door at the moment, 15 seconds on the clock, and Sip, he's surely calling it in now. They jump through, the bomb is on the floor, and Sip, oh! He's going to come up with a big double kill. Can he get there in Seven time? seconds left and I don't know the bomb is not picked up no they're gonna run out of time they just cannot do it oh dear this is probably gonna be walking up behind them pretty quickly flamey would have been the catch device almost but he's not quite ready now they're out in the bomb site sip is down there ready and waiting 30 seconds on the clock and they're gonna go straight for the bomb plant but they don't expect sip and he almost could have lined up that double kill quick reaction from electronic will take him down with the bomb plants it now and they walk right in device not ready for it huge double kill coming out from electronic and now four versus three the bomb ticking away make is getting a kill but the returns are there and flamey actually oh. stopping that and a beautiful headshot to take them down down. Electronic, who's been the strong player for Navi, exchanged right back to Glaive, who's lucky to be alive, but I don't know if they'll expect this is a pretty nasty off angle around the edge of the smoke. Electronic isn't going to look. Some missed shots, though, and boom it. He drops down. Double kill for Device, and they still cannot take him out. Oh dear, they need this. I mean, they finally get it, but now the problem is the time that they spent, it wasn't a big problem before, but when they lose those opening fights, suddenly they have to be really scared. And look at that line that he's holding with the scout, almost getting that tag. And if, if he had, that actually would be a disaster. Still a three on four right now, but they need to get into a bomb site. 25 seconds and the bomb is still in yard now. Finally making his way into mini and they do get oh. a bit of an opening, but the pre there with the return and now the scout is up on high as well. The flashbangs are in and they're doing so much damage. Navi, 
They need to close this game out right now, but I don't think it's going to be possible in this round. Eight seconds left, and Simple going straight for the bomb plant, but they're already on top of him, and that was the time that was left. Glaive just surviving on two helpers all day. In the, you start to wonder about that round. You're like, oh man, we had the chance at that now. That round, the one where the time ran out, but I like this from Electronic. He's going to try and take it right back. An awkward fight in the open space, and oh, he just loses it. Good peek from Device, but the follow-up, two kills for Simple and Flamey, and now Simple's pressuring into the bomb site. But he doesn't actually know about this corner. Dupree could maybe find the right timing instead of Simple <laughs> executing him on they might very well win this round. Sip jumping down to the low ground, taking a lot of damage, and he is done. 15 9. That's so within striking distance. They need to go right now and finish this game right here. Meg is taking down another one. It's five on three. I don't know how much more of this I can handle. 30 seconds on the clock, and yeah, they need to move. And they're running into a hugely stacked bomb site. They're all here. The bomb actually trying to make its way down, seeing if they could find a way. Boomich will get a kill on Dupree, and at least they're down. 18 seconds, and now. Can they actually find a way to put that bomb down and get a little bit of pressure back on now? Instead, it's Boomich dropping, simple waiting, Perfecto getting a kill and taking down device. Eight seconds, Blake, Blake. he opens the door and he finds it! Five seconds, I'm not sure if simple can even run here close enough one more time. Oh, it's a direct, you know, line of God, just any time he wants. Boomich will be the one to do it, and that's what the clock taking down Magus can dare simple. Following it up, Navi having a little bit of luck in this round. The bomb, they need a quick bomb plant here, and that's beautiful grenade landing right on top. Oh, but no. is it actually gonna matter? Two versus three, and Sip jumping down with the scout. He's point blank range, not using the pistol, and that might be it. A one versus three. Bomb is going down on the other side, even as device does get the kill. They might have found a way here, Navi. He's trying his best, but this is a USP, <laughs> and they run away. Now he's in trouble. No. Down behind he's looking for it no armor on perfecto but he still gets it done 16 to 9 and now we take us to map number three falling back from that top banana position so there's a window here for navi to actually use that and just try and hit this bomb site before more people show up smoke going deep to block off on the one side and they're gonna wrap around quad so they just don't want to fight there for the minute dupree down oh actually it's device instead two big headshots to slow them down dupree still waiting oh in graveyard God. he's gonna stand up just popping out of the box oh. and he lands one more please oh. oh, disgusting oh. taking down another one dupree with a beautiful triple for it especially while they don't have armor is the tough part and they only have two flashbangs on boomage that'll help an open head deagle headshot zipnix trades it back into a four and four we go but magus can device under a bit of pressure and I think this is where Navi, they might want to pick up the pace. Some of the utility is slowing them down and making this disjointed. And look at the rotation. Astralis has a read on where everyone is. Glaive and Zipnix both evacuating the B bomb site. Yeah, you have to assume one of them is probably going to fall back eventually, but they're getting a lot of confirmation now. Glaive is going to be hearing them running on the other side. And the timing for the peak, he just keeps going. And that UMP will chew them up. A bit of danger after the early kill, but yeah, they read that. You're absolutely right. They had a perfect understanding of what was going on. And that'll, that'll have to be frustrating for Navi, wondering why both players from the B-bomb site are there. One at spawn arches, one in library. Flamey, one more kill would be great economic damage, but he doesn't have the HP and make it. Grenades are raining in, doing more damage. Dupree still right by Arch, so they have a pretty good read on this. Electronic hiding inside of the smoke, which has just been his theme pretty much throughout this whole series. Charging through and taking down Dupree. He's been so good at playing inside of it. Let's see if Magus could do anything here. It's going to be close range with the MP9, and he'll win that fight immediately, but taken down by Perfecto, leaving alone in the pit. Device backup is coming, but I don't think it'll get there in time. He has to get at least a kill to buy a little bit more time. 20 seconds, and they're closing in, and this is an uncomfortable range for the MP9. Flamey right on top, almost stomping on his head as the bomb goes down, and it's now a two-on-two. -two. And Flamey, he's got that great crossfire with Simple. How do they get through this one, Astralis? They have a single flashbang, but I don't know. As soon as they step on that line, they're going to be in the field of fire of both these players. And Simple not even waiting for it. Not even allowing them any space. Glaive now in a one versus two with the UMP. And this should be impossible. He's trying to just find one fight without exposing himself. He's going to take down Flamey and Simple's on the other side. He's got the head armor and that UMP not shooting through that pillar at all. Now the Deagle's out instead and he goes down. Simple. Teamwork and baiting, so... As, there's a lot of truth to it. As, it's, yeah. as silly as it sounds. No, that's why it's so good. I love it. Oh, that's simple taking some liberties. Flamey trades him off. And that shotgun's gonna sink back into a range that's not that effective. And this is Navi just getting picked apart one by one. Not a whole lot of teamwork coming out at the moment. Magus along the wall. It's Goosh. There's the shotgun. Perfecto has to win this, but he just can't. He just can't do it. And it's the only one left. Flamey is traded. Sure.
This cannot be one that they don't check. Glaive knows they're coming. Electronic, gonna be first up, it's so slow. He triples him up. Absolutely stunning play from Glaive, and that should end the round. Flamey gets dropped. I'll tell you what, if you're Glaive holding that, that angle, the nightmare scenario is that... Electronic jumps with that exactly. Glock. Exactly. Yeah. The jump around the corner is the thing you don't want. It goes down. The odds that you clear for a second is brutal. Yeah, you will have a hard time doing that. Device is going to get smoked out, and he'll just try and see if he get lucky as they come wrapping around with 30 seconds. But as you said, two in pit is hard to check for. They've just found the one, but how do they do with the rest here? 25 seconds, and that's the bomb. Oh, he's trying for that spray. That's actually... Oh, oh. God, Dupree! He was ready for it! Grenade lands on top, but it's not going to be enough. The bomb will get planted, but still, simple and perfecto. Look at their positions. They're way out in the open. How do they find a way to win this? You don't. They have no cover to go eliminate Dupree, and now the Flames is going to force Perfecto into the open. This is so awkward for the young player. Force into the one safe spot that he has, but that's going to get pre-aimed and pre-fired. He's got one. Simple still not yet into the action, and he's got to take risks. There's the first. He knows exactly where Zip is. He knows he's cornered as well, and he can't find it. A fifth round for Astralis. Glaive is going to toss this out right now. Flashbang, and they're just going to go right through it. That's a perfect counter flash, but there's no smoke for CT spawn. I don't know if it missed, but Zip is going to rain down death from a four, but he's missed his shots. That's tough to deal with. Boomage down low. That's going to be frustrating. Ooh. What a great shot from Flamey. Leaving Maze dead on the other side. Bomb is going to be gone right now. Right, the pre is at least going to be called in, but Sip, he could still do some damage here with that AK-47. One of them low on health, and he's going to try and check for it. Not quite. He's actually covered behind the fountain. I think now he found out, but he still gets dinked. That's pretty good for Boomich, actually, and that boost up behind, and Simple would clean up. And they're still not even up mid quite yet with control. Just now moving in, but so much nades left on Astrala. Still two smokes. Those are on Glaive and Device. Dupree has one flashbang. Flamey, uh, is he, is, are they going to Molotov out? Oh, no, they do it in the pit instead. It's Flamey still opening up on Sip and taking him down in graveyard. That's really good. 18 seconds on the clock. Magus and Dupree, the crossfire is broken by the smoke, and now they are on the bomb side, and they'll clean it all up. It is the esports double down. I was going to say, I know, I know. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> I, I know Semler would. <laughs> well, backing off of Banana, good kill on the Glaive. <laughs> Five USPs. Semler's in the green room like, shut the hell up, Anders. Shut up. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to tell this story anyway. I had, I had Semler at one point in, in Vegas telling me he'd figured out how the roulette works. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of my favorite moments of all time, not gonna lie. Meg is close here, and well, I appreciate it. He was enjoying the moment inside of the smoke, you know. Took a risk. Didn't pay off. Well, Navi might just walk right into the stack. No delay, no flashbangs, and it's just USP, so they should be able to negate things. But there's a chance this gets spicy. There's the first USP. The second one has not been engaged just yet. Good kill from Device. And Ooh, Zip what? is having a tough time. A really tough time. A very awkwardly tough time. Bangs behind to make that even interesting. Though, Flame is here and Magus turns around. Flashed in and he's immediately gone. It's a lot of pellets right Ooh, to the chest. I like this. I like this aggression so much. Simple has no idea he's been there. Neither does Perfecto. Magus can make a huge play. He can save and turn this round for Astralis. This is so massive. If Device has the information or delays them just a little bit, Magus is going to pounce. And the bomb is there as well. Boomich, he's going to go down, and now it's revealed. Oh, Device, he wants to turn the corner on the other side while they're all looking. He shows a little bit of hip, I think, and has to fall back. But yeah, they've got to be all in a lot of pressure. Simple snuck in. Nice. He's right behind Glaive. Definitely go for it. Now's the time to do it. He's just backing up, and, you know, they was in his personal space at that point in time. You know yeah, how it is. I didn't like that. It feels uncomfortable. Yeah. I, I respect the fact that he didn't go for the knife either. He's done that before. <laughs> Perfecto. Ooh. Knows. Do, they know Magus is somewhere in alt mid. Surely, surely Electronic clears us. He definitely will now, but Simple's got him first. Device, it's his turn for the peak. This is actually scary. They're whittling them down, and it's all on zip. Oh, I mean, surely they check this. 5-7 in the hands, and that's a great range for it. He gets the immediate kill now. Going to put up the smoke and just try and buy time. 25 seconds. He's actually up on the sandbags. And Simple is just going to say, you know what? I need this bomb palm before we can even continue this fight. And he will get it somehow. A one versus two now with the bomb down. And Simple with a chance to really save his team here. The Krieg has been picked up on the other side. That smoke is doing a little bit now. And Simple, 
He'll fall all the way back here, but once they know where he is, they've got a little bit of time. Obviously, no defuse kit on either Astralis player in Simple is ready. He wants that straight headshot to close this into a one-on-one, -on -one, and then he can buy time, and there it is. What a flick to come through. Oh, oh. he gets another one! Quad kill to take him down! He has control of Boiler. He's been doing a pretty good job. We saw him lurk with the Deagle earlier to find oh. one kill. That's a big frag from Glaive. He ducked under. If he had stood up, who knows, he could have peeked right into that shot, even with the flashbang. But, um, ducking right under. Molotov actually to force him almost into a fight. Perfecto going down, that's a pretty nice flip there, and he sees simple and continues. He actually walked into that bullet, I think. So, from Navi's point of view, this is a little bit unfortunate, because they were on a pretty good run here, but perfect round from Astralis. Nobody going to sip and Glaive both here. Glaive still has a smoke in his hand, and that's what's going to make this almost impossible. Here's... It's just a pop flash over here it comes they're gonna go through that smoke again zip with the hell hold the spray he had it lined up and if the first two players don't make it through the second two definitely aren't gonna try simple with the alt gonna take an aggressive fight he's got the first glaive gonna try and play around the smoke i think simple knows i think he's aware of the possibility he's looking for any indication oh, giving 11 back even glaive finding one and the jumping scope from Simple, surely that is never gonna work. And Device is taking a kill in the meantime. There's the follow up on Dupree. Moment. Now, there is a boost in the back of this bomb site. So, once this is spotted, if Glaive doesn't get this first kill, Navi's gonna know where both players are. Flamey looking, Glaive waiting for his moment. Timing this, there's the peak. They still haven't spotted him. Oh, and it's gonna be Simple who pays. Flamey finds that, but good double peak. Oh, look at this aggression towards Rapside through the smoke, back towards CT Spawn, a split to the B bomb site, but Device has the first. Flamey's gotta win this. What a tough duel. Or he's at least gotta freeze Device in place. You can see Zip is rotating back to help out as well, and the smoke is still up, and now that second prong of the attack can do nothing, and I just spotted Dooley's. You did. I, I didn't even want to mention it, but there you go. I got you. You're right. That's there's supposed to be two different arms of this attack, and, and once one of them is gone, yeah, the, the people waiting on the other side for the breakthrough moment, when they get called in, it's like, uh, it's nothing. Radio silence. Yeah, the breakthrough moment is now just like lambs to the slaughter. Well, they've set up a smoke. Doubt that's going to save them. But it's better than nothing. I think device clipping perfecto mid air. And somewhere in there is simple. Finally get Cree and device are ready in case there's some kind of huge pop-up coming out of apartments. They could turn around and probably had a pretty good crossfire. There's the flashbang to set it up. Oh, it's a really good flashbang! Device still gets one long range and he's ready in case they come out. Oh. Not ready for simple. That Creek will take him down and Glaive turns for it. 40 seconds. He gets shot in the back by Electronic and that leaves it all on Sip here for the 15th round. One versus two. He's got his knife out sneaking around the corner into the smoke. There should be no way for him to get through, but he walks right in undetected and only gets the one. In alt mid. So, I'm so happy about the fact that it's 9 6. Close, uh, ooh, close call there. Magus will pick up simple, and now they're going to be wrapping around so quick. Electronic, if he goes down, this A bomb side has no defense left at all. He's going to make it around, and at least he's alive. But Glaive is controlling middle, and they're getting the bomb in as well. And oh, he nearly catches him. If Boomich dies here, then there's no flank from that side, and Glaive will crouch in for the kill. This is a huge problem for Navi. I don't know how they can bring this back. And once Astralis has the go signal, they are not going to stop. Boomich, no smoke. He's at the corner. He needs that first kill at least. Oh, he's going to get away. They don't turn the corner. There was a flashbang from a teammate that shut them down. Perfecto is here. Simple is here. Navi couldn't ask for anything better. They're coming through, oh, almost coming through the smoke. They're a little bit hesitant. And now the cleanup's begun in the bomb site. Boomich going down. And I think Navi, they probably did need to run through that smoke. That spam is not going to do anything. And Simple, he's waiting on the one side. It's still a three on three. And. There is a distinct lack of a bomb plant right now for Astralis. They're still delaying that just a minute now. Finally trying to go for it. Magus, I think he was just baiting it out and he gets the kill on Electronic. So they've got so much time to work with Astralis. They're finally going to try and see if they can follow it through. The bomb does get planted. Simple. Has he got a chance? No, Device is there. Five people around the corner. There we go. Flashbangs out and it'll catch at least one of them. And Device, no trouble cleaning it up. So. I don't care, I still appreciate it. Yeah, there's a counter flash from Glaive at the exact perfect time. I don't even think he meant it necessarily as a counter. He was just tossing it out to get some kind of a response and a little bit of luck on his side. It goes perfectly. Simple, the last one left. But it's just a matter of time. Ooh. Good night. Read the round as well. Yeah. 
Well, he's playing an off angle here at Arch, and that works perfectly. Another follow up, though, and Glaive will just barely survive. Simple. Can't see much behind that smoke, and he's inside of it now. If he misses a shot, Glaive will surely get him. And Glaive is actually sneaking right past him. Oh, this is such a crazy play for Glaive. That smoke fades, and oh, he almost had him. That could have been the kill to open up the bomb site, but Simple is so quick, and he'll take him down. 17 seconds on the board, and how do they cross this? They're trying to smoke him off, but Simple, he wants to help out. He wants to save Electronic with the AWP. He gets a kill. Nine seconds left. No scope, not connecting, and the bomb will go down. Device will just catch him, and now it's a two-on-two. Man, Simple is a hero in this round if they actually win it. I don't know. That was that was massive. He needed one more. This is going to be so difficult to retake. There's no kits either. No kits, no nades. I don't know how Navi gets back into this. Boomich going to lead the way with Flamey behind him. And this is off angle for Device. They do actually peek it, but he gets a headshot regardless. Dropping Boomich on the ground and Flamey, he's quick to look into the pit. But as you said, no kit. It's going to be all day for him to try and defuse this. And I think that that's pretty much already done. There, and again, aggression from Astralis. And again, Navi wants nothing to do with it. They don't want to fight. Oh, Perfecto. Ooh. He's going to turn this corner. Great flashbang. Great flashbang from a teammate. If he had taken one more step around that yeah. corner, he's done. But now the rotation is in. Boomich and Flamey occupying Arch and Library. Glaive getting absolutely caught there. That's a lot better now. Ooh, simple. Is if they could get a, just one good flashbang off against him, that could actually work out. He's now holding the corner. He's going to have the information, and he just wants to wait it out now. Backup is being called for. He takes the fight as they're throwing grenades. Again, another high-level play coming out from him in bomb plant. Fine. It's a five on two. Let him have it. Don't do this. Don't risk it. Wait for your teammate. You need a solid retake. You need as many players surviving. That was almost sketchy. And if they lost both players, that would have been so dangerous. And Device can still close out this round. If he takes out the flank, it's so doable. That Molotov actually buying a lot of time on the one side. Device getting a kill, but Magus, I think, overexposed. I think he thought maybe that uh, Molotov was going to do a lot more than it did. And now it's all on Device. This, again, should by all means be impossible for him to do. He's now out in the open, and they clean him up. Nate is out. Decent damage. Simple. Getting a bit close for comfort, but he does have a wonderful crossfire to take care of all of that. Boomich trading places with Device down here. Funny moment. Ready for more? It's pretty good. A couple of kills and... Yeah, I think, again, Na'Vi probably going to be fine with this at the moment. Either side of the A bomb side with Electronic. He was early on at the B side. He's getting back just in time, but oh, it's close. Perfecto. A little bit alone. There is a lot of people here, but no one on the other side. And that's why oh they're wrapping God. Astralis. No. This call is outrageous. If they had gone right, oh, sorry, left instead, they would have ran into three people, but they find an empty bomb site. I can't believe it. And now they're just wrapping in, trying to oh get no. that bomb plant. The boost is not working on top of this. And Na'Vi, what do you do? They almost have to give this one up you do you have to save this, this is just a I don't even think a Strauss meant for that to be a fake that, that's that's just awkward positioning and awkward rotation miscommunication a second player was coming back from the B bomb site that might open things up oh that's definitely gonna do it they're going for this now oh surely not I mean that bomb has been down for a while Dupree back in the corner, the Molotov pushing him away. He goes down as well, Electronic with a kill, and that leaves Device one versus three, and he tries it, but it's not enough. Can they actually find that bomb? They've got it, they've yeah. definitely got it. I am shocked. That's absurd. Where did those two kills come from? Was it mistakes? Was it through the smoke? Because, listen, it is not easy to win this, Ooh. oh my god. There's one, there's another. You do not lose the A bomb site in a 5 on 5 retake very often, especially with smokes up in the choke points. That is unbelievable. Flamey does have a Molotov. If he can put that down appropriately, it could be so harsh because Glaive has to use the smoke for CT spawn for Boomich position. And a bit of a run boost coming in. That's always fun. We love that. It's a very flat run boost, isn't it? They always are, it feels. Ooh, don't overextend. Good adjustment from Flamey. Three kills so far. Trying to deny the bomb play, but just don't go down. Zip, applying the pressure. Good kill from Flamey, and there goes Megan. Seems like they've made the assumption that no one is going to be here, and Boomich might have a huge chance for at least a bit of a surprise kill. Oh, the shadow is showing, but Boomich, he still picks up that kill. Look at the response on the other side of the map as well. Simple was aggressive in halls, and with that man advantage, he just wants to preserve it. Oh, that's awkward. Electronic just gave up the angle. That's an important trade. He hears the footsteps. 
Zipnix trying to open things up and half blind. Electronics got another. Coming alive here on the CT side, and he's gonna sink himself back into the safety of the pit. Magus and Glaive at a two on four, but there's only two defenders here at the A bomb site. And Perfecto by that smoke at small pit is actually blocked off from helping. Molotov, the challenge is in, and he's done a lot of damage there. Electronic, he goes down eventually, but it's not bad at all. Still a three versus two, as long as Perfecto does not go down, it should be working out all right. Smoke off to try and see if they get the bomb plant down, and they need to take a deep breath here, Navi. They have the advantage going into this retake. They should definitely be able to do it. A lot of kits around, and just a single flashbang on Magus. Is he gonna go and try and challenge? Yeah, he's actually gonna go a little bit aggressive. He can maybe see the shadow. There's the one headshot. Oh my god, and the follow-up as well. And he's ready to flash that side. Glaive taking a bit of a peek, but not finding anyone. And now it's Boomic versus Glaive, a one-on-one. -on -one. And with the time that's already off that bomb, how do you make this happen? Glaive will take him down in the Stralis. Good grenade to clear him from the corner. He has to back off almost immediately. And now Boomin's just feeling lonesome for backup. 40 seconds, and they're gonna try and see if they can push their way through. He's still up here, and they don't know it at the moment. 35 seconds, and Flamey's showing up as well. They actually have a lot of defense now. There's the line up on Flamey. He gets two big kills, and now back in the side, he's swapping it out. Simple to take them down. And very passive, very far back at the moment for Astralis. Dupree and Zipnik's really the only aggressors. Ooh, that's a quick shot. No head armor on device, he had body armor. Oh, quick. That's fast with a flashbang from Perfecto. And Navi, now that Astralis has marched aggressively across the map, they're starting to eliminate everyone. No issues here, no bomb plants, just a free with a single deal kill, and that will be all they get. Again, one good flashbang, and there's really almost nothing he could do to reply either. 15 seconds on the clock, good shot for Electronic, and that's the bomb drop. That's a huge pause. Perfecto gets a kill as well, and down in the pit. They haven't even found Simple yet. Nine seconds left, and this is completely falling apart for us. Oh. Oh, it's Navi to pick up the round. I mean, that's a huge surprise when you execute that late in the round. Device charging up with a CSAT 75, but Boomich is there. And that MP9, and he even gets back around the corner. They're gonna be annoyed. Oh, well, Magus will catch him, and he actually wants more. Yeah. He's gonna try and beat the smoke, and that's a really good idea. Peeking for it, and a headshot to shut down Flamey. That's unbelievable. But they have no smoke for spawn. Perfecto can still stop this. Magus has to do more. Are they gonna be ready for him peeking from ruins? He wants to stop them from getting to the B bomb site, but the real play could be on the other side of the map. Zip is up in halls. If he pushes into the A bomb site and sees it clear, they could readjust. Oh, another failed run boost, but not a disaster. Simple could catch the. Oh! The shutdown! Mid air. There are, there are players in the world you could try that against. Simple is just not one of them. And there's nothing else Megas can do. You can't ask any more of him with two kills. I can't believe Simple's being aggressive. I can't believe he's doing it. He's got the kill. He risks it all, and he's got another. And Nade's just being reined into the position of a strong, and they shall not cross. That another timeout called. <laughs> Part of the Navi team, loving it. 29th kill, or 29th round here. That was Charles Again, this is what you want if, if you're setting up for something uh, elaborate, which looks like they are. Dupree not impressed and still losing the fight. I'm shocked. It looked like that should have been a lot better. I think Electronic was somehow helping out with a flashbang all the way from the pit. So we're going to have to find that at some point and just show you guys because that's a little bit of a setup. 30 seconds now and Astralis, they might have run out of power here. Navi might be about to be on series point because this is 25 seconds. They're rotating back into a B-bomb site that's still defended by two players. Navi should have this. If they get one opening kill, I don't think they can make it through. Boomich, he's already seeing it. They need to line up for him. He's back for more and sprays almost another one down. 10 seconds. And hiding in the back is Flamey. A kill oh, that's a big kill. That's so quick. Device with a shot. And they go straight for the plant. I can't believe it. Here we are. Another retake. Three on three. Three kits. No utility. One flashbang on device. And simple with that op. He's been so good in this game. Another round he has to deliver. They're waiting for the smoke to clear to allow Perfecto an angle at coffins. And simple's being bold. Oh, he's looking for it. 
Just edging his way through, strong shot, and Electronic actually, he's doing all the work. Device is back here with no health and no chance at all. He'll get taken down, and now we will find the bomb immediately. Right now, and this is what it comes down to. Simple's fallen really far back. He's actually lost a fair bit of the map control there. That leaves Perfecto and Electronic inside of a bomb site that is about to get pinched from two different angles, and they need to win the first fight. Device will take down Perfecto, Electronic in the pit. Can he stand tall one last time? He lines them all! Oh, no! A beautiful spray! Electron's head!